Hey everybody, uh, Chris here. Um, I'm at the uh, the church with the new Behringer wing. Uh, we've been using this for the last few weeks now and I must say I am very happy and impressed and I'm only using about maybe 20% of what it's actually capable of. Um, it is a phenomenal phenomenal board for the price um there are a few gotchas which i want to address in this video uh and like the, the biggest thing is routing because that's the thing you hear all the time about with with people who are you know trying this thing out for the first time it's it's really difficult to understand routing um and i just want to give you a really 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 quick um rundown on how you route things and and then we'll call it a day for for right now so the easiest thing to do is from each of your channels, you just pick which channel you're looking at, right? And you can set up however you want to. You could choose all this you want to, but all you have to do is hit input, right? Just go input, boom. And so now you have a main and an alt. So like this board has the ability that you have everything on your main input and then you can flip everything to an alternate input for playback. Uh, so like, for example, this, this one is actually local two, but I have USB one as the playback so I can you know, play or record it out to my multi tracks and bring it back in as USB one. I haven't tried that yet. I've been doing it with tracks that I've pre recorded, um, but I haven't done it in a live situation. I'm, I'm working towards that. So, but all you have to do is basically just click Vox here, and now you have all your sources. So I've labeled all of my local inputs because this is what they are. These will always stay here. But a lot of times, like if I choose this and come into ASA, you'll notice that none of these are labeled except for my crowd mics, because my crowd mics will always be on these two channels, but nothing else is labeled. So anything that's lit up means that's already patched somewhere else on this board, but anything that's not lit up means that it is not patched into any of the channels. So all you have to do is just pick what it is. So say ASA box, say this is plugged into 17, all you have to do is click 17 and you're done. Is it mono, stereo, MS? I'm not really sure if that's mid-side or mono stereo. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but basically it's either a mono channel or a stereo channel. If it's a stereo channel, it has to be a matched pair. So if I hit stereo, if you notice, it changed this all to a stereo pair. So we're going to go back to mono here. But that's all you have to do to get this channel, which is uh, one, assigned to A17. Well, this is one of our vocalists, so all I'm going to do is go back to the local, and I'm going to put it back on the wireless uh, microphone that I'm going to be using for the day. Then all you do is hit close, and there you go. So that is, in a nutshell, the quickest and easiest way to route individual channels. Um, you can come into routing here and do it all from here as well. So you can pick, okay, here's my channel inputs. Just pick which channel I want to route where, and... And you can choose your source and, and whatever it is. So these are these are channels. But if you want to like rename these sources, if you come to the routing, you come up to sources. Well, from here you could choose any of your sources, any of your source groups, and you could just pick one. And now over here you'll see all these settings, but you'll see a rename, and then you can rename the source if you want to rename the source. Um, one big thing that I recommend to everyone who's using this is if you come back to your home here under uh, input, um, uh, I'm sorry, not non input, it's uh, name. Um, make sure this is unchecked for each of your channels. Otherwise, it will rename each of your sources to whatever your channel name is. Um, so this is really handy for people who, like us, like we, we plug stuff in each week in a different location because we have a big stage. So, you know, one week the vocalist might be over here with a guitar. The next week that guitar might be all the way over here. Um, and, and so, you know, we might be using a different input, but, but when we switch, this input might still be labeled guitar. So we don't want that. We just want, you know, whether it's A, which is that box there, or B, that box there, and we just want to know what number it is. So that way we know, oh, uh, okay, that cable's plugged up to B17. We don't need to worry about what it's named or anything like that. So make sure this is unhighlighted. Otherwise, it will change the source name to whatever you have here. Um, so those are the two big gotchas that I, I have with routing. 
uh, hope this helps everybody. Um, hopefully there'll be some more videos uh, coming up soon. Um, trying to uh, <laughs> trying to find time to do it, and you know, working a full time job and um, doing a side business is is not the easiest thing in the world to do, especially with everything that happens week in and week out in in, in church and in life in general. So, um, if you have any questions or anything about the wing, uh, let me know. Um, I'll have my email down in the description, uh, along with you can just drop a, a comment, and I will try and answer those, or I might make a video, uh, depending on what everybody says. So, until next time, we'll see you.